What's going on, YouTube? Earth Power here with CVH. <laughs> Almost shook my headphones off my How's head. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> trying to give him the old Lewis Black. <laughs> yeah. Uh, We've got a match happens. for you today. Yeah. Um, yeah, the gatekeeper match between uh, Pincer Scarab uh, playing off against Light Fire Rush to see if it can make it into the play. And one of these decks will move on. The other deck will be relegated to obscurity. Yeah, we've already seen Five Civ Control and Mikey's Pliers make it into the bracket. If you missed any of those matches, yeah. they're all on the channel. And if you want to see Lightfire Rush, Pincer Scarab, or Lightfire Nature Jungle deck profiles, that is one video that was posted a couple days ago. Yeah, and out. then we played uh, Jungle versus Water Nature Pincer on yeah. uh, Octagon a What's few days ago. So go check that out. CBH and I's first uh, first go at trying to do this. And I don't know that we'll ever have audio quality quite like that again. But here oh, we are. Oh, we might. We might, because I still haven't edited it as of this recording, and if it's good, then maybe you'll just have better quality for everything forever, and also we might do more Octagon matches. But hey, we're back live, in person. Absolutely. Let's jump on in and see Heck how it yeah. goes. So. Yeah, so Water Nature Pincer. Oh, yeah, Ooh. look at the oh, slide. Yeah. Oh, here we yeah. go. Yeah, here we go. Everybody's yeah. doing it. Well, you gave up on the flip, but I think maybe you'll I do did. it for maybe, us. Maybe later. If, maybe, yeah, maybe later. Um, yeah, you're playing the Pincer deck. I'm playing Light Fire Rush. My lower third is very short. CVH, LF, Rush. Nothing much to say there. Your Earth Power, Water, Nature, Pinsuit, Scarab. That's so much. Yeah, so it's you know, just the whole card. I think we both rolled fives there. Oh, really? Yeah. Classic us just cannot not tie Oh, no, roll. maybe maybe someone did win. Maybe you did. Hopefully. I mean, this is a matchup where either one of us would really like to, to be on the play. Yeah, both absolutely. Both aggro decks. Yeah, I yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't feel favored in this matchup, and I mean, I guess that's the idea, right? Is like the way Water Nature wins is by having probably one to two shield triggers and curving out. Like, I need to see my one drop, and you miss yours, which is great for me. Yeah, so, there are twelve. We're, in we're my already, deck. yeah, we're already off to a to a good start. Uh, Volcanic Arrows goes down, which I like seeing. Especially in the rush deck where Water Nature Pincer, or sorry, where Water, I'm just calling the deck name as the card now, uh, where Pincer Scarab just, uh, you know, can get down to lower powers. It, it'll be a tough time because I, I think I need Pincer to be big in order to also win this game. So, attracts, interesting to see how it goes here. Yeah. Yeah. Soul Gala obviously is not, I mean, it can evolve into Larva Gear, which is kind of nice. Not really against the deck with no blockers, but that's a big card. But also, uh, yeah, Soul Gala is yeah. not as strong as uh, Kook Holon would be in this matchup. If I had had the Deadly Fighter, the Hardy Cap and counter would have just been incredible for you. Um, but yeah, your hand yeah. is looking a lot better than mine currently. Yeah, you found your one drop maybe a turn, turn too late there. It is kind uh, of interesting that you went for the uh, putting the Hulkus down with the Shroom. You're really leaning into that turn three Pincer Scarab. Uh, right. Lightfire Rush can really just sort of drop its hand, at, you know, whenever it wants to. So Hulkus, I guess, could have maybe been a thought, but I guess the logic is like Pincer's never going to get better than it is right now, and you do want to get it on board as soon as possible. And you probably don't need Hulkus so, from breaking shields, but I'm also not doing that. Right. So now I start playing the math game because this is, you had an incredibly slow start. So I can kind of be offensive here. I can put you to three cards in hand, and I figure if you're able to play two, and mana, that leaves you with one in hand. If you can only play one card, I'm doing even better. The last card in my hand is uh, Spiral Gate, so I have Spiral Gate Hardy Captain, which means if you have two cards in your hand at the end of this turn, I can make Pincer Scarab a double breaker and put you on a, a much faster clock than I think uh, Light Fire was anticipating. So that's what I'm banking on here, is that you can't play more than one, or you can't play two creatures. I think I'm about to play two creatures. I do. Um, and that's nice to see for sure. Uh, reduces Pincer Scarab's deadliness, I suppose. Um, yep. Yeah, and, and hopefully the idea there is just like forcing trades instead of you breaking all my shields. That's right, hopeful. and that's... Right, and so that's the bad news bears here, is now, now I have to play defensive. So I'm kind of... And still... Not, I mean, I don't know. The boat, the boat got rocky for sure. Uh, but I have the one drop. I saw that I was given unicorn fish and shield, so I can have a creature versus just the uh, spiral gate. Because um, I want to be able to weave the spiral gate into more creature plays over the course of the next turn. Because this is now two to three turns for stabilization for me. I think so. I can take trades across the board. Um, 
and I'm considering whether or not to. I definitely like the trade. I think yeah. you, I think leaving yourself dead to a speed attacker is um, just a mistake, probably. Because even though I drew bad, I still have eight speed attackers in the deck. Where? Do, yeah. So, and that's you're right, and that's the tough thing, right? So I'm, I'm again trying to play the 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 long term numbers game. Because at the end of the day, I have to make sure you have at least two cards in your hand if I can't bounce more than one creature. Because I got to think of loading my hand as well. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you get yeah, the block. It's tough. It is really tough. Yeah. You can't really kill me right. this turn, but I don't know what, I no. forget what your hand is for answers here. So maybe you did have a point with the potential of uh, just maybe being right. dead to a speed attacker. Right. So not playing the Spiral Gate this turn means that if I have another Unicorn Fish, I can just bounce both creatures. And I'm thinking I don't have it. I might. But that's that's going to be the best out here. Spiral Gate, Unicorn Fish. Kill a creature. And start by double breaking. But I can also break one shield and still double break with Tensor and put you down to one shield. But I have to be able to deal with both creatures. And I really don't want to have to lean on a... Yeah, so I don't have it. Okay. So I really have to lean on a, uh... did I tap the wrong mana there? I should have Hardy in hand. Yeah, yeah, I just, I oh, there we go. Can't, can't read. Yeah, there we go. We got it. So, um, yeah, so I can only bounce one, which means I'm dead to a speed attacker, but them's the breaks sometimes. Um, I can kill Tolk, which is nice. Everything, just everything kills Tolk. Everything kills <laughs> and, Tolk. Uh, Matt effect does not kill Tulk. Right. Worst case scenario for me is hitting shield trigger anything. So I want to... Yeah, because I guess I'm thinking of not about whether or not I just break a, break a shield here. So well, you were debating what mana you get back, and I think probably right. you don't. Break. Well, no, I, 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 right, I switched the attack there because I attacked with Unicorn Fish first, but I knew I wanted Sniper Mosquito's effect, and it didn't matter which one swung first. So if I do decide to attack either way, the other well, one's coming for the shield, so yeah, it doesn't I, quote it unquote can... matter. So but yeah. A little bit if you don't attack, right? Because if Unicorn Fish attacked instead, then Rickaboo Boost Screwdriver could tra trade in a pinch, and then I could just set up lethal with two other creatures. So you, you do want to attack with the bigger one, just in case I'm forced to make trades. Yeah. So Yeah, and I decide not to attack there. So, yeah, Sniper Mosquito getting the thing. You have the speed attacker. Ooh, the gate. I have the one trigger out of uh, all five shields, which is uh, just just nice to see there. Glad, Beautiful. glad we had the one. But yeah, that should uh, hopefully set me up for lethal here, minus uh, a last shield volcanic arrows and or the last uh, Kalan. Interestingly, um, since you decided, I mean, since you, I don't know, you, with without even worrying about the shield trigger, like two turns ago, maybe you should have taken that one shield because then last turn there would have been less chances for me to get the speed attacker, and you couldn't double bounce, so maybe going for lethal last turn was fine. But then last yeah. turn you would have died to one shield trigger, and this turn obviously you have way too many attackers. But then you gave me next turn to yeah. find a speed attacker, so it's kind of yeah. interesting there. Curious Shout what you kind of think. Yeah. Shout outs to Paladin being able to. I couldn't put more creatures on board. I couldn't like drop a creature and evolve it into Paladin. So avoided the uh, shield trigger, the first shield trigger <laughs> with uh, the break on Sniper, and then uh, yeah, Fencer gets his double break, and then you just need a whole lot of triggers to deal with the rest of the board. So yep. Fencer Scarab takes it. Takes game one. Um, I found kind four of, a of much... my one drops in shields. Yeah, there they were. A third of my decks one drops were in shields, and zero percent were in my hand, and that is not great for a rush deck. <laughs> it's never. <laughs> you just you hate to see it. You, you hate to see it. I mean, that's the that's the kind of hand you dream against. Uh, you dream about facing when you're when you're up against rush. You're like maybe they just won't hit their one drop, and they always hit their one drop. Well, let me tell you something, YouTube. I don't always hit my one drop. That's why I don't always play rush. Yeah, it's always it's a fun what if there since I also had the one drop, but I didn't swing for a shield on turn one on turn two. So like if you had had the deadly in game one, like obviously that just changes the game fundamentally, I think. But it'd be interesting to see where that uh where that spiral might have mattered. Oh yeah, Deadly would have the been horrible. You would you would have crushed me if I had uh, Deadly still. Um, yeah. Hulk would have been a little bit different because I can flood and then I can attack later. But it's all what ifs. This time I have a one drop, but unfortunately it's not one of the ones that attacks. 
which could yeah. still be fine if I have Larva gear in my hand. Then if I'm remembering correctly, I do. Yeah. So I, I decide for a moment there whether or not I want to play the one drop since yours can't attack this turn. Um, but yeah, just getting the sniper online now is way more important. Um, and I end up coming into uh, the poisonous mushroom, um, but I don't have the other nature mana to uh, to play my other sniper mosquito and not attacking here. Don't feel like losing sniper mosquito for little to no reason. And I'm trying to get to pincer mana. So, makes sense to me. I'm just starting to turn stuff sideways. Love to see it. Just a little bit. So, fun fact here: you breaking that shield actually gave me the pincer. Huh. So, and I think that's just gonna be our play. It looks like I have a spiral gate in hand. Don't know what the last card in my hand is. Let's see if I decide to show it. Usually when I start to get thinky, it occurs to me that I should show my hand to the camera. But it doesn't look like this is going to be one of those cases. Nope. Yeah, um, trying to... Yeah, it's... There you go. So it's play the pincer, but then it's, what do we do from here? And I got to start thinking about clock mechanics, right? Like, where, where do I have to be a turn or two from now in order to get Pincer big enough to race this board potentially and or just kill Larva gear. So like ideally I want to force you to trade too. So it's kind of a best case scenario, but like I have to keep cards in your hand or at least I have to have you with a card or two in hand at the end of any given turn. That way I can uh get Pincer bigger than uh bigger than Larva gear. And I can yeah. get it the same size as Larva Gear, but that's no fun. But also, I mean, if you have Bounce, which I don't know that you do, it looks like you have Unicorn Fish. Like, you don't really need to worry too much about gear. You can always bounce it and make me spend my whole turn replaying it. So there's yeah. that. At a certain point, you can just race me. And Soul Gala's sitting yeah. there looking yeah. like it doesn't really have any power whatsoever. Yeah, and it looks like that's what we opt for there. So I know I'm not going to be able to weave Spiral Gate into hopefully just another creature over the course of the next turn. Spiral gating back larva gear does just put two cards in your hand. So if you end this turn with a card in your hand, I'm uh, off to the races with pincer, if you will. Especially if I start breaking shields too. Yeah, this is really tough. Um, I mean, no matter what's in my hand, I can I can get down to zero cards in hand, and I can attack with larva gear. The issue is like, I don't know. It still feels like I'm not really applying a ton of pressure. And even if pincer is, oh, I can't actually dump my hand because I have pyrofighter. But pyrofighter is quite good by itself. Yeah, the idea yeah, is force yeah. you to trade. Maybe over two turns I can kill you, but it's uh, it's tough. Yeah, I do like that. Uh, it's weird. Like, you put down Volcanic Arrows to do that, right? And I get it. I get playing Volcanic Arrows there on Pincer Scarab, but, like, if you kill my Pincer Scarab, like, what are my outs? Like, I don't... Bounce? I, I feel like I just don't win the game if Pincer, if you kill Pincer there. Well, if I like, kill I Pincer, never I win can't play game. Pyro, right? So then I just attack with Soul right. Gala and Larva Gear, then you bounce Larva Gear, kill my Soul Gala with Sniper, and then you just have everything on the board and I have nothing. I and you're at two shields in that case. Then next turn I have I to spend guess. my whole turn getting you down to one shield. Yeah. No, it's a yeah, that's that's a tough spot for you for sure. And I lose a shield in the exchange, so I probably get two turned. Well, maybe I, I might have farted there. I don't know. You're waving something at the. Oh yeah, you did. You did. Um, yeah. If you bounce, then I'm at uh, four shields. So then you bounce. You trade over with sniper. You attack with shroom. Get me down to three shields. Maybe you still can't two turn me. You would have been able to if you had hardy cap and unicorn fish. Uh, yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this turn now. Um, the issue, the only is thing I can't I... hit is colon. Yeah, and and like without colon. And that was the problem I had last turn, is I know there's no shot at a two-turn, no matter which play I went for. Obviously, if I don't play Pyrofighter, it's even less, you know, chance, because you know, Colon wouldn't even give me lethal. But here, it needs to be Colon, because I couldn't go up to six mana this turn. I couldn't break you down to zero shields with the Pyre in hand. Yeah. So, yeah, I need basically to rely on the most absurd shields you've ever seen to have a shot. Yeah. Running the math there, uh, there's no way. Like, breaking that third shield doesn't matter at all for me. Um, if I break it and it's colon, then you have lethal. Um, if it's colon next turn, I can maybe avoid it if you don't have another trigger. So there was no sense in breaking the third one there. Yeah. 
So at this point, I do have, uh, I believe, two speed attackers in my hand. I just don't have the six mana, so I just use Pyrefighter to trade this turn, knowing you don't have blockers, and hope that I can try to go for lethal next turn if I somehow survive. Using my blocker and the power of shield triggers. Blocker's gone. Time for the shield triggers. Yeah. yeah. So just He's continuing to dump my hand. Oh, yeah. Need... We get to double break. Yeah, no, I need to, yeah. Found the Kalan. Is it last shield volcanic arrows? Uh... It is not. Yeah, so close. So, but yeah, it was the Kalan there in that third shield. So uh shout outs to uh not not breaking it untimely as uh, as I didn't need to the turn prior because that would have mattered a lot. And yeah. Wander Nature takes it. Uh two oh, and we're just looking at the drive screen now, it would seem. Uh, or no, I am. Because uh because I can use OBS. Uh, you're, you're fine, you're sharing your screen. <laughs> yeah. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. I just <laughs> try to figure out where I am at any given point in the day. It's always a always a fun question to ask. So hope you guys enjoyed. That was uh, probably not the way I I think I would have drawn it up uh, had you asked me uh, who was going to come out of this leg uh, at the start of the week. But here we are. Uh, yeah. Water Nature Pincer moving on into the bracket uh, to play off against uh, Light Water Dark Hydro Hurricane. Uh, yeah. in the coming in the coming season three uh is top that, 16 bracket is that right mm -hmm. yeah are you sure are you sure or will you stake your career on it career's a weird word to use but yeah Wait, yeah number three I I would, yeah um well Water right. nature Penster will what play the heck against, is I mean, uh I... what is mikey's playing against uh water fire rush i think you're right i had it backwards yeah i did have it backwards Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right. The one thing I think I've got is the knowledge of how these tournaments are going to go to a degree. I yeah. just can't get the I just can't get the civilizations right. You put a bunch of letters in a row, and I turn into every deck has like Lexic McGee over here. So. <laughs> Sick McGee. <laughs> <laughs> just never learned how to read read proper. <laughs> so. Oh man. But yeah, that was a good uh, yeah. match. A uh, nice, tight match came down to, uh, you know, the race, the classic race situation between two aggro decks. Yeah. Guy, you love to see it. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things where, like, you know, you circle back to what we said in the deck profile a, a few days ago, but, like, it, it's tough for Light Fire, right? Because, like, even over the course of that, I never really got any triggers that got in your way. It's just like it's more or less just the deck kind of getting in its own way. Like, well, you did actually like, get last shield trigger when I had lethal. I I did the one time, right? Yeah. But literally one trigger out of the nine that you broke. You yeah. Know, it's just it's it's yeah. yeah it's it's interesting to say the least. I don't know. Light fire is uh, again relegate it back to maybe obscurity i don't i don't know that we play it again at least in a bracket tournament anytime soon but uh you know it's one of those things where what well, fire nature continues to i think prove why it's at the top of the heap when it comes to just true rush decks yeah fire nature probably would have won that or at least had a much better chance to yeah absolutely so yeah guys leave a like comment down below let us know what you think of the match below and who you're excited to see uh in the coming legs for uh the play-in tournament um yeah. i think who who do, who do we have for him next week cvh i, I we can't read the screen and i forgot yeah. who like four is consisting of that's fair it's a lot of different letters in this one we have water dark fire nature to form or burn <laughs> yeah, which is like a turbo burn variant that you put together based on a couple lists yeah. from idc and dark fire nature survivors oh god survivors is back um yet again and the winner of that match will go on to face a rub midrange yeah, so stay tuned for deck profiles coming at you early next week. I uh, might have some fun stuff in between over the weekends uh, as we go. I don't know. Don't want to promise anything yet, so if we don't post anything, don't hold me to it. Uh, but I know CV and H and I have uh, have some content that we're going to try to start uh, shoveling out to you guys over the weekend yeah. from our IDC tournament that we played in recently, as well as uh, uh, some other things we've recorded as we've gotten together over the past couple of weeks. So stay tuned for all of that. Uh, stay tuned next week for more play-in fun. And until next time, guys, peach, peach.